Are you making your first cup of coffee? Or maybe you just got hired at a fire department and you want to make the perfect pot of joe to impress the boys because you think it's important to us. It is. Well, making the perfect cup of coffee really isn't that difficult. In fact, I'm going to show you how to do it. But first, a word from our sponsors. Fire department coffee. It tastes great. It also helps you poop. Welcome back. To make that perfect cup of coffee, you really only need three things. Fresh, medium ground coffee, good filtered water, and a ridiculously strong, harmonious blend of the two. Because let's be honest, nobody, I mean nobody, wants a thin cup of coffee. The fact is, if you can see through it, that's called tea. Most people, especially first responders, like our coffee as strong and dark as our sense of humor. Now for today, we're gonna to be using a drip style maker because that's what most people are gonna be using. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up the top and we're gonna add our water. Now that our water's added, we're gonna grab our grounds and we're gonna add two tablespoons of coffee grounds per cup of water. I like to add three because I like to be so caffeinated that I can smell colors. Red. Now that we got our coffee and water added, we're gonna shut the lid, hit that brew button, and watch that liquid sanity drip down to that carafe. Oh, in case you didn't know it, carafe is just fancy speak for glass container of happiness. And now that you got your perfect cup of coffee, get out there, start your day, do something productive. Or play six hours of video games like I'm about to do. <laughs> Squad up!